In this video, we are going to see how to add watermark to a PDF file. So let's say that you have got certain files in your Dropbox. Every time a new file is added to that particular folder in your Dropbox, automatically with the help of Cloud Convert, which is an online file converter, you would be able to create a watermark and once it is created, then in your Excel file, you would be able to update the entire details like the name of the file, the original file and the file which has been now watermarked. How can you do this? For this, you will have to set up some integration between these three applications. And the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Dropbox and your action applications would be Cloud Convert and Microsoft Excel. Now, how can you do this yourself, integrate and automate this entire process? To understand that, let me take you to my screen. Now, to begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pably.com slash connect. And as we do that here, we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user over here. Here we have reached the all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pably Connect. So as we do that, here we have reached a dashboard of this application. Again, on the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And the dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here, my objective is that every time there are certain files uploaded in a, in a particular folder of my Dropbox, then automatically with the help of Cloud Convert, it should be watermarked and then the URL of that watermarked file should be saved in my Google Sheets. Add watermark to a PDF file. So let's click on create. Now here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically action here is the response of our trigger application. Now here I have to derive my files from Dropbox. So that would be my trigger application. So I'm going to look for Dropbox. Here it is. And now the trigger event. So this is the event that will make your workflow run. So here I'm going to select new file. Now let's click on connect. So as soon as we do that here, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Dropbox account so that it can have access to the information. So to set up this connection, let's select add new connection and then connect with Dropbox. So here you can see that the authorization has been successful. Now we are supposed to share the folder path. Now what is the folder path? To understand that, let me take you to my Dropbox account. So this is the dashboard of my Dropbox account and here I have got multiple folders. So I have one folder Cloud Convert. I'm going to show you this. So it has got certain files. Now what we have to do is we have to share the folder path. So this is our folder path slash and Cloud Convert. So I'm going to copy this, go back to Public Connect and paste it over here. So once done, let's click on save and send test request. So here we have received the API response where we have received the shareable link. And then there is this URL. And if I take you down, this is the name of the file. And then we have the time of creation. Now, what is my objective that I wish to add a watermark? So I'm going to choose my next application as Cloud Convert. Let's click on this. Now here the action event would be See, you have multiple actions. So you can capture a website to JPG, to PDF, to PNG. Then you can convert a file to another format. And here you have create watermark. So I'm going to click on this and let's click on connect. So as we do that, again, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Cloud Convert account. For this, I'm going to select add new connection and connect with Cloud Convert. And here you can see that the authorization has been successful, which means that Public Connect is now connected with Cloud Convert. Now here we have to fill in the following information. Basically, we are supposed to map this information. What is mapping? I have this information in my previous step. I'm just going to retrieve it here. And why is mapping important? Because every time you receive new data, so it should be inculcated by your workflow. Otherwise, what would happen if you write it manually? It will only take the manual data every time the workflow runs. So now here we have to map the line item. 
So for this, I'm going to click on this, go to step one, and this is the shareable link. This is the line item URL. So let's click on this. Now let's say that you had some other image which you wanted to put as a watermark. So you could also add the link here. So once done, next is line item task name. So here you have to provide the task name in comma separated format if there are multiple URLs. So I'm just going to write Pabli connect one. So if you had more, you can put a comma and write the next task name. Now the task name for watermark. So here again, this is going to be exactly the same as line item. I'm going to copy this and paste it over here. So once done, now the input format. So we want it in PDF format. So I'm going to write it as PDF. Next is file name. So this is the file name. So I'm going to go to step one and here it is. So once done, the watermark text. Now, what do you want to write as your watermark? So I'm just going to write demo watermark. And once done, the font size. So let's say it is uh, 70 font with percent. So here it is written that uh, if you take 33, then the watermark text will always take one third of the available space. So I'm going to make it as 40. Once done, the font color. So you can choose any color. You can just take HTML color codes. So I'm going to copy this and go back to Pabli Connect and paste this over here. So from here, you can select any font name and I'm going to select Courier New Bold. Let's paste it over here. Now the alignment. So I want it to be center aligned. Then we have the task name for image. Now, since we do not have an image, we can just leave it blank. Similarly, we can leave this image with an image height blank. So if you are putting some image, then you have to enter the credentials over here. Now, next is position. So I want it to be center aligned. Again, horizontal position to be center aligned. Then margin vertical. So I'm going to set the default value as 25. Again here, 25. Then opacity. So let's say it is 50. So I want it to be visible only 50% and now the rotation. So I'm going to set it for 45 degrees. And now if you wish to provide any tag, you can. I'm just going to simply click on save and send test request. So here you can see that we have received the API response. So these are the details that we have just fed. So basically all the details regarding the watermark are here. But we haven't received the job details. And also if I scroll down here, you can see that the data status is shown as waiting, which means some of the data is not yet here. So if I continue this workflow, then immediately it will take the next value and it will not inculcate this value, which is yet to be retrieved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a delay over here. Yes, that's a feature by Pavli. It's a very interesting feature. And now how much delay do you want to put in your workflow? So let's say it is only five minutes. So you can mention and let's click on save and send test request. So here it is saying that yes, our workflow has been delayed for five minutes. Once this is done, now I have to fetch the job details. So I'm again going to choose my action application as cloud convert. And this time the action event would be to get job details. Let's click on connect. I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection. Once done here, we have to map the job ID. We are going to go to step two. Here I'm going to look for job ID. So here it is. Let's click on this and click on save and send test request. So once done here, you can see that yes, we have received the API response. The status is shown as finished. Now, what is the name? It is watermark. If I take you down, this is the file name. This is the created time. Then as I take you down, so this is our result URL. Basically, this is the file with the watermark. So I'm going to copy this, open this in a new tab. And now I'm going to show you this. So yes, here you can see that our file is here with a watermark. Right now going back to Pabli Connect, what do I want? Now I want to have this Excel sheet where I can fill in this information. So my final application would be MS Excel. Let's click on this. And now the action event would be to add row to a worksheet. So let's click on this and click on connect. So here it is asking me to connect with Microsoft Excel account. So I'm going to click on add new connection and connect with Microsoft Excel. Now 
it is asking me to provide the authorization let's click on yes and here you can see that the authorization has been successful so once done here we have to fill in this information now, now let me show you the excel sheet that i have created so this is cloud convert this is the name of my excel sheet and this particular sheet is sheet one here i have the following column fields file name file url and watermarked file so i'm going to take you back to public connect and here i'm going to look for cloud convert here it is now since there was only one particular sheet so it has already been captured by the system so here we have to fill in this information first of all file name so i'm going to go to step 4 and let's look for the file name so here we are and then we have to get the url which was without watermark so i'm going to go to step one and this is my shareable link and finally the watermarked file so i'm going to go to step four and here i'm going to look for for the result file and here we have the result file url once done let's click on save and send test request and here we can see that we have received the response if i take you back to my excel sheet let's quickly refresh this page and i have got the desired result so i hope this is very much clear to you so this is our file name this is the original file and this is the watermarked file this basically means that our integration process is a success but now we also need to check this in real time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add another file in my dropbox so let's go to my dropbox and here i'm going to upload another file so let's say this is communication is the key i'm going to click on open now as soon as this particular file has been uploaded here what should happen automatically a watermark should be created in this particular file and the details of this file should be embedded in our excel sheet so now i'm going to take you to my excel sheet and here we can see that we have received the desired result so this is the name of our file this is the url and this is the watermarked file so basically this means that our entire integration process is a complete success now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to understand exactly what we have done. So here our trigger application was Dropbox where the event was new file. Once done, then our action application was cloud convert. The event was to create a watermark. Then we had chosen a feature by Pabli which was delay and we had delayed our workflow for five minutes. Then action application was cloud convert where this time we had chosen the event as get job details the final action application was microsoft excel and the event was add row to worksheet i hope this is very much clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow the same workflow that we have worked on is there in the description box you can also clone the same and start to process immediately apart from this if you have any other integration that you wish to work on you can always write to us not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.